Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at the uh, M range. Now, this was inspired by a comment uh, from a viewer who was asking about setting up the M range to have targets uh, at far distance and then obviously moving them closer. So, we've taken a look in this um, one and we're setting up uh, targets of 20, 15, 10, and 5 yards. Uh, this is the M range, so this is the M range 2.0, which is a new version. And we're just going to take a look at obviously the, the setup process for doing that. So, I'll quickly add in, of course, course name and course description. Okay, so what you do is you add an exposure here, and obviously you choose your, your relevant target. So in this case, we'll get my uh, favorite target, the silhouette target. And here you can obviously define the string ID, which is automatically entered as an integer value. You can put your distance, your face time, which we'll set as five seconds, and obviously how many shots to uh, turn the target. Now the beauty here in mRange 2 is that you can actually now copy these. So once you have one defined, you can simply copy and then change the parameters obviously uh, based on if you want to change just one part or not the distance, which we're going to do here. So we'll do this and make it 15. Then we'll keep everything as is, copy again. And obviously do that for each and every distance we want. So this is an improvement over the original M range. Um, so you can obviously have the copy process, which makes it a little bit quicker to sort of set up your courses. Now you see here that each of these strings obviously uh, is string ID 1. Now this is just uh, an identifier for the actual course of fire. Now you can add a second target here, but the second target in the M range 2s is um, basically like an alternate um, target that pops up at a different lane. So we're going to go ahead and preview this now, and you can see obviously the target furthest away. And as it sort of like goes through the kind of demonstration here, you see the yellow indicator showing the target that's in, that's in view. Now we're on that string four. That obviously uh, shows that preview. Okay, so just reviews. So we have our 10, 15, 10, 5. Go ahead and save that course. You can see it here showing up against the uh, the name and description. Okay, so now we go ahead and obviously do the training. So you can now pick that course. So let's go ahead and do that. And see how this runs. So again, you hit the space bar. Now this is the only thing to bear in mind is you get the target pop up, and obviously that's that particular string. So you, each and next, you, each and every other string, you have to obviously press the space bar. So that's the only sort of downside to setting up this type of uh, course of fire when you have multiple targets. Now what I will do is uh, I'll show you at the end of this video the, uh, the old end range, which obviously allowed you to set up targets and then we'll just run through in sequence. But let's skip a, a look at this at the moment. So let's finish that course of fire. Now we should get our uh, after action report. So here you can see obviously the, the shooter obviously with the total score, total hits, and obviously uh, you can skip through each of those string stages. And it'll show you obviously where the hit markers are on the target. So that's pretty cool, all, all new stuff here that we have. Well, I say new, but it's graphically changed in terms of what it was in the previous um, M, uh, M range. So here again, you get the breakdown of obviously your stage, your shot, in terms of obviously timing. You've also got obviously your first shot, last shot time, split times your total score. Now you get only the score that's obviously um, shown for each stage here, so you don't have a combined score within this reflected view. The previous window did show you the total score. So as you can see, you've got your total shots, total hits, but this is again, this is just for that one string, that one stage setup. And obviously we have four stages here that we obviously for the set distances. Okay, so let's, uh, what we're going to do now then is um, gonna basically just go back into that editor a second. And what you can do to make it easier to sort of identify the distance, you can set the string ID to something else. So we can set here 20 to reflect the 20 yards and then 15. This is just obviously, it, it just may have a label essentially to allow you to sort of identify which, which of these targets is what. Now, I don't know if you can put alphanumerics in here and obviously give a, a descriptive label. I think I've only ever used, obviously, just using an integer value to represent the distance. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that. And we're going to just run that course again. So 
So again, you've got a hit space bar as I mentioned between each each target position distance. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, after action reports. You can see here we have a total score, and again you can look at each of this, the different um, strings. And you'll see here now you've got the, obviously the number that represents the distance. So each string is identified by distance in yards. Just an observation there, which obviously if you're setting this up, it just makes it easy to sort of determine obviously what that. If it doesn't actually show you the distance anywhere else, you have to obviously sort of have a, a way of remembering which stage or which string you had set up for what distance. Okay. So that's uh, basically the M range two. So what we do now then, so this is the old M range. So again, I don't know if you've uh, got access to this, but I've set one up here, the same, same sort of distances. Oh, I've got, sorry, I've got three distances here, but you can see that they're further away. And then now you can see that the actual, the um, target itself moves down the rail, which is quite a nice little animation. So you make a hit. I mean, it's, gra it's definitely graphically more interesting than the M range 2 compared to this version, but the functionality that this has might be quite good to port over. So you can see here, you get your final hit count, miss count, and then you can step through the hits, and it shows in green the hits for the relevant stage. So let's just replay that. So again, you've got your furthest away, take your shot. In fact, I'll leave that one for a moment. Let's show misses. You can see it animate forward, turns, do a couple of shots here. And then it animates again on, on a rail coming forward. But there's no space bar between the actual targets being obviously set at the distance. So that's something I'd hope to see that they obviously introduce that into the uh, M range 2.0. Okay. So again, you can reflect on obviously each, each and every here. But yeah, so that's pretty much obviously the um, setting up the targets for distance. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, and again, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you next time. Thanks for now.